Water temperature, puffer fish do not require high water temperature, as long as the water temperature is above 20 degrees Celsius, they can grow normally. In artificial breeding, it is better to keep the water temperature at about 25 C. Water quality, puffer fish have high requirements for water quality, and breeders need to keep the water clean. Feeding, puffer fish feeding is more miscellaneous, breeders can feed them more small fish, shrimp and other food, can also feed some lean meat, animal viscera and so on. How to raise puffer fish? Water temperature, puffer fish do not require high water temperature. Although they like to grow in a warm environment, they can accept a wide range of temperatures. As long as the water temperature is above 20 C, it will not affect the normal growth of puffer fish. If conditions permit, it is better to keep the water temperature at about 25 C. Water quality, puffer fish have high requirements for water quality and like to live in clean and refreshing water. In artificial breeding, they need to change water regularly and clean up the impurities in the fish tank regularly to slow down the deterioration of water quality. If conditions permit, a circulating filtration system can be installed to keep the water clean. Feeding, the puffer fish does not have a high demand for food, and its feeding habits are relatively miscellaneous. In artificial breeding, you can choose some small fish, shrimp, shellfish, snails and other foods to feed them. You can also choose some lean meat, animal viscera, and synthetic feed to feed about what should we pay attention to when raising puffer fish. Living habits, to breed puffer fish, you need to know what waters they originate in. Because some puffer fish live in fresh water, and some live in seawater. If puffer fish are bred in seawater, some sea salt should be added to the water in which they are bred to simulate the state of seawater. Reasonable feeding When breeding puffer fish, we should also pay attention to reasonable feeding and ensure the diversity of food, so as to ensure their nutritional balance.